What's up guys? I know uh, some of you have been waiting forever for me to finish my version 2 of the DIY immersion. And this one is 10 times better than the last one. It uses way less energy and has a much smaller pump that is uh, made for it. I'll leave a link down below, but it is a magnetic drive pump. It's way quiet. It uses way less energy. We got copper tubing, which helps with uh, the displacement of heat. And even if you suck at welding, you know, pipe welding, uh, even if it were to leak, it would leak straight back down into the deep freezer. But this uh, radiator that we have, it's a, uh, it's actually a heat exchanger. It's called a wood stove heat exchanger. And obviously the box fan. But I'll leave a link to all these down below. And it's uh, real simple. The hardest part is to get it to prime. And so I have them held up by bungees on purpose instead of making it permanent so that you can dunk it when you first start. So when you first start on this part, you have to actually move this into the, uh, the liquid, which is a bit cool. And once you dunk it in, it'll eventually push all the fluid back up through the pipes. And then once it starts to come down, it'll suck the fluid in and uh, it'll be continuous. But it is very, very efficient. I mean, we're running maybe at uh, 50, mid 50 degrees on the miner. This is a, uh, a Bitmain Amp Miner S1753. Terahash and it's doing about 75 using ASIC.TO and that's it I mean if you got any questions about it it's it's very easy setup I mean crazy easy all you need is this deep freezer the pump copper piping which is uh, three-quarter inch piping and uh, the connections you can get anywhere Home Depot Lowe's so if you got any questions, leave a comment down below, but this setup is much better than the last one I had, which, uh, which I'll show you over here, which is destroyed right now. But I used a diesel radiator, which worked great. It's It just was starting to get really loud. This was the pump we had, and it's, it worked out great for a little over a year. So if you got any questions, leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching.